for a new subscriber, learning a bunch of in jokes, catchphrases, and background information on the LP or they follow. That'd be your can, topic. <laughs> uh, no, it, I I couldn't really come up with a follow up, so I'm just like, um, hmm, because uh, it's either. I wasn't yeah. I wasn't criticizing. I'm happy to move on to happier topics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well there we go. Uh, so especially for someone who's been LPing for a long time. Uh, you may have a lot of series already on your channel. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any LP series that you would recommend to a new subscriber in order to feel caught up? Um, not really, because I feel like a lot of my in-jokes began in the early days, and I don't think those are videos that have aged very well, if I may be <laughs> honest. Um, and on top of that, they, you know, again, things at the very beginning were different. Um... So I, I don't really want to say, you know, oh, go check out this Let's Play and watch this one first and all those things. Just if there's something you like, something that you're enthusiastic about, something that you wanted to know more about, maybe you can, you know, I, I'm sure that making that decision is, you know, just whatever you're into. Okay. And um, speaking of, like, catchphrases and jokes you do have a couple that are still referenced or even used today mm -hmm. so we can go over at least a couple of these real quick and maybe explain their origins so people who may not understand them will feel a little bit up to speed okay uh the first one uh it is almost 10 o'clock at night so i don't really want to yell uh but do you know the one i'm talking about the no <laughs> there it is yes um okay that was a bit of an accidental success because um the epic no is not my creation um it's from the old sonic the hedgehog cartoon the adventures of sonic the hedgehog um it was a thing that was quoted a lot on the internet back in general at the time and i guess i was just kind of the one that people liked saying it at the time Good old um, YouTube poops yeah it was the it, there's an episode where robotnik is gonna fly a plane that scratch and grounder have built for him and Scratch and Grounder are super, super excited to fly the plane with him and everything and, you know, be able to fly in a plane. And Robotnik <laughs> is furious that they think that they're going to be on this plane with him. And he just looks furious at them. And Scratch is just like, we get to go too, right? And he's just like, no, into their face. <laughs> and then just takes off without them. Yeah. It was something like that, and it just, it sounds really funny, and I thought that quoting that when saying, like, no to people in RPGs to be really rude, because there's times where people are like, hey, you know, you like me, you want me to come along with you on your journey, right? Just shouting no in their face. <laughs> it, it was just, I thought it was a funny way to say something really rude, and I guess it just kind of caught on like that. But thou must. <laughs> uh, the other one, uh is a particularly particular favorite of mine because I feel like it's defined some of your runaway guy legacy. Uh-huh. But uh doing Daisy on hard. Oh my god. No. <laughs> that was that was just me talking casually <laughs> when we were selecting a character in Mario Party 6 on a stream. <laughs> uh and you've never lived it down. I have never lived it. And I just kept saying more and more dumb stuff throughout the night in my naivety. It was it was a pretty good stream video. Yeah, John, I, I think John at one point said it was his favorite stream that he'd done. So <laughs> I guess there's at least that. At least he enjoys it that much. Um, Speaking of things you cannot li seem to live down, uh, let's talk a little bit about Steve. Oh, boy. <laughs> So who is Steve? Steve is that one red leaf Pikmin that is in every squadron that trips and falls and in general just makes mistakes whenever you issue very clear commands because Pikmin AI is stupid. <laughs> so why is this Steve so famous amongst your fans? It's just the there was um well I, I guess I don't want to spoil the video of when something happened though but there was a time where Steve really proved himself and just was it was that he'd been messing up a lot and i'd been pointing it out every time he did and then there was a time where he incredibly proved himself in a tight spot <laughs> um so that wound up happening i tried not to over rely on the joke i tried to like let it die with pikmin one um <laughs> because that was the joke that was that was the joke of that let's play i think that was what my intention was and that's why i didn't 
acknowledge it in Pikmin 2 because I felt like the joke had kind of run its course and I didn't want to over rely on old jokes on your series because again I do try to make each series stand in its own and you know not be something you'd need to watch an earlier series to really enjoy uh in Pikmin 3 I did I wouldn't say I brought the joke back but I do talk for a little bit toward the beginning of the game about just what the experience was of having that whole thing take off like it did and I do mention it, though, because the way the first level of Pikmin 3 is designed, it's just, they give you one extra red leaf Pikmin than what you need, and it just makes all the animations so awkward. <laughs> so it was it was something that I couldn't have avoided. I, I think at that point, because it had been years since I had relied on that joke, that I could kind of bring it back for that one video and talk about it a little bit, but <laughs> that was really all I was going to do. Uh, so kind of to that point, how do you feel about I guess the legacy of Steve. The legacy of Steve coming this fall on Fox. No, um, I I thought it was a funny thing when it happened, and I was excited to post it when it did. It did grow kind of beyond my control, which if people are having fun with it, that's great. I have nothing against that, but my biggest worry was just over relying on the joke and making it you know, more of a bad thing than a good thing whenever it happened to rear its head again. <laughs> I, I try to only bring it up when I feel it's really applicable. Uh, like, there's a moment in Pokemon Emerald where I mentioned it briefly, and I felt like it was applicable there, so I always try to not do that. I do definitely do overuse jokes. I, I mean, I ran Doe I Missed into the ground, I'll be perfectly honest with you, but it's something that I do try to at least try to not do too much. I mean, for quotes, it's so hard not to do that, though. Because, like, Doe I Missed is so usable. You can say it anytime you miss it in an RPG or anytime something doesn't go your way. And Well, like, thinking about, especially N64 games, like, if anybody's a fan of Star Fox 64, I quote that thing to death. The quotes are what made Star Fox 64 what it was. 